Hi, in this video I will make a full body scan of this car. I will start with this corner on the rear trunk. I will scan counterclockwise. Actually I have done this before in my previous video, but that time I only scanned the rear trunk and this side of the car toward the, the front tire and I didn't notice that there was any significant deformation, twist or drifting. But this time I will go around the front hood and to the other side and then I will go back to the starting point here. If the scanner has a large drifting error or twisting or deformation, the seam line on this end point will not match with the starting point. I start with adapter X first, a 1.2 millimeters global marker, scan the QR code. <sighs> Uh, I can say that two of the markers here doesn't match. It's move about one centimeter.
Ah, you can see here. I can see that it start to overlap because I scan uh, with a distance that is too long. Okay, next I will try with the author and I think that it will have uh, much much more earlier than the laptop if I uh, scan around the car in one scan. See here that the end of the scanning it doesn't match it's like uh, one foot 30 centimeters of earlier okay here's the result of the yeah, scan laptop X scan in a single scan uh, one go no merging surface look clean and the gap between the panel is uh, constant there is no twisting or deformation that I can see. After point cloud mapping, the starting point and the end point, the software fixed this by merging the starting and the end point together. I still can see a small seam line, but it's much uh, smaller than uh, the preview data from the scanner before point cloud processing. This car is 1.66 meter wide and 3.71 meter long. I estimate the travel distance of the scanner uh, to scan this car uh, is about 50 meters. Okay, now let's take a look at the uh, author in the large mode. Author seem to have a much more uh, drifting effect than the Lambda X. It's twisted and the starting point and the end point is about 25 centimeters away. When I start the scan uh, from the back toward the front, I don't see any um, significant deformation on the preview screen it looks like it's um, tracking very well and uh, this starts to show when i almost finish the scanning and the end point almost one foot away from the starting point even after the point cloud processing it couldn't fix this earlier I tried to fix this by uh, went back and scan four individual parts and I will try to merge them see if this can fix the problem and I start to see the issue when I try to merge two other scan together in auto merging which is it supposed to be able to do because the curvature of the car but it cannot merge I think the overlap area of these two scan have a different geometry induced from the other of the scan to prove this i went back and scanned with the lab the eggs in four individual parts and when i merge them they can merge it automatically which means that the overlap area that scanned from the laptop of the two scans has exactly same geometry so that the software can merge them i can do auto merging of the four scans from the lab the eggs successfully without any problem which means that the scan from the laptop X and the author has a difference in the accuracy there is no visible seam line after merging the scan 
So I went back to the auto scan and tried to merge them with the marker. Uh, it merged successfully for the first three panels. And then on the last panel, um, it doesn't match with the first panel as you can see here. So I can say that the each panel that was scanned from the author has a significant deformation. Uh, to prove this, I need to merge them again in a Cloud Compare manually. Here's in Cloud Compare when I try to merge the four panels scanned from the author manually. And I can see that uh, each panel has a different geometry. As you can see from the color, it doesn't match the yellow and green. And there are a spacing between each panel when I try to overlap them. And at this point, I can say that uh, the author is, is not uh, suitable for scanning the car panel. Okay, let's check for the accuracy of the Laptop X scan in a single scan. The car length is 3710. Measure from the rear bumper to the front bumper, just above the license plate. Here, from the back to the front, just above the license plate. Okay, look at delta Y, 3711, right? 3711. Now we check at it's a manufacturer specification, 3710. So the other is only 1.56 millimeter uh, if you really need to use the other to scan for the car panels uh, the whole car I recommend that you divide the panel into a smaller separate scan here you have uh, six scans to make and when you start the scan you start it from the center of the panel you move it to the left then you pause the scan and then you and then you go back to the starting point go to the right and then you end the scan this way it will cut you scanner travel distance in half and so does the other you do this to all the panels start at the center go to the right go to the left and the scan by doing this you might be able to merge individual scan together automatically and get a better accuracy of your scan and if you uh, want to scan the roof you probably need to divide the roof into two parts and if you want a better accuracy with the Laptop X instead of going around in circle you can uh, scan halfway and pause go back to the starting point and scan the other half then end the scan this way you also cut the travel distance in half Okay, in conclusion, the Laptop X can scan a full body of the car without any a special skill or technique and it can be done in a single scan without merging which saves a lot of time and the result accuracy is uh, very high for the size of the object you can definitely use it for reverse engineering and part fitting in another hand, if you want to scan the whole car with the other you need to scan it uh, in the individual panel the smaller the better and you need to try to reduce the travel distance of the scan and you need to to put additional time to merge them together okay i hope this information will help you decide which scanner to choose uh thanks you guys for watching i'll see you in the next video